get started using Corona, we'll create basic lines and geometric shapes. Let's create a line. We'll create a local variable called line. Local line. We'll set it equal to the constructor display.newLine. Display.newLine. This constructor returns a line object. The arguments for the constructor are the beginning point and ending point of the line in x and y coordinates. So, we'll type 100, 100 to have a line that begins 100 pixels in and 100 pixels down from the top of the screen. And then we'll type 200, 0 to have the line end 200 pixels in from the screen and then at the top. I've placed a space between the arguments just to help in reading. Now we'll set some properties for the line to affect its color and stroke width. Line colon set color. Notice the capital C. The arguments for set color are values for red, green, and blue, 0 to 255. We'll set the color of the line to white, which is 255 for all of the arguments. Now we'll set the stroke width of the line. Line dot width equals 3. We'll save it and take a look at the result in the simulator. So here we have a line that starts at 100, 100 and proceeds to 200, 0. We can append more segments to the line by using the append method of the line object. Line colon append. For the argument, we simply type out coordinates. So the next segment will go from the last coordinate that we drew, which was at 200, 0, to then 300, 100. And we'll append another set of coordinates. 100, 100. Save it and take a look at the result in the simulator. And so now we have a triangle that's been drawn to the screen. Really, it's a line with three segments. The first, the second, and the third. Now let's create a square. We'll create a local variable called square. Local square. And set it equal to the result of the display.newRect method. Display.newRect. Display.newRect creates rectangles, or squares. The first argument is the x and y from the top left of the square. So we'll set that equal to 100, 100. The next two arguments are the height and width of the square, or rectangle. Since it's a square, the height and width will be the same. Comma, 200, comma, 200. Now we'll set the width, fill color, and stroke color of the square. Square dot stroke width equals 3. Square colon set fill color. Notice the capital F and capital C. And then the arguments are for red, green, and blue, 0 to 255. We'll set it to red. 255 comma 0, 0. Then we'll set the stroke color. Square colon set stroke color. And again, red, green, and blue. We'll set it to white. 255, 255, and 255. We'll save it and take a look at the result in the simulator. So now we have a red square underneath our triangle. Using display.newRect, let's create a rectangle. We'll create a local variable called rect. Local rect. And set it equal to display.newRect. Display dot new rect. For the arguments, we'll set the x and y. And then we'll set the height and width. Now I'll copy and paste some values that set the stroke width, fill color, and stroke color just as we did with the square. Okay, we'll save it and head back to the simulator. And now we have a green rectangle at the bottom right of the square. We can create rounded rectangles by using the display.newRoundedRect method. We'll create a new local variable called roundedRect. Local, rounded, rect. And we'll set it equal to display.newRoundedRect. For the arguments, we'll set the x and y. the height and width, and a border radius for the rounded rectangle. 
I'll set the stroke width, fill color, and stroke color as I did before by copy and pasting. Now let's take a look at the result. So now we've created a blue rectangle at the top right of the square. Let's create a circle. We'll create a local variable called circle and set it equal to display dot new circle. For the arguments, we'll set the X and Y and a radius for the circle. I'll paste some values that set the stroke width, fill color, and stroke color of the circle. Let's take a look at the result in the simulator. So we see the circles overlapping the top left corner of the square. If we want to reposition the circle or any of the other objects, we'll set their X and Y properties. Let's change the position of the circle. Circle.x equals 150, and circle.y equals 250. Save it and then look at it. And so we've moved the circle to 150, 250 on the screen. In Corona, 0, 0 is the top left corner of the screen. As you move to the right, X values increase. As you move down the screen, Y values increase.